there are reasons why still a lot of people are completely unaware of the deeper truths how things work and they are just supporting feeding the matrix you know being good consumers running chasing their dollars wherever it is you know doing everything that they are programmed to do they are programmed because the system is designed to keep people in ignorance you know it's a very sophisticated system Okay, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. This is my series on metaphysics, esotericism, mysticism and spirituality. And if you're new here, please subscribe and uh, check out previous episodes as well. So if you go to, for example, youtube.com forward slash TrueFury, there is a playlist there with all the episodes or most of the episodes so you can watch all of them if you want to if you are someone who likes topics such as reincarnation karma law of one hermetic philosophy star seeds psychedelics meditation law of attraction um, you know how consciousness works higher self anything in between this series is for you so please subscribe have a look at previous episodes as well and before we gonna start please check out patreon.com forward slash truththeory and consider becoming a supporter. Have a look what's going on there. You can send me direct messages on Patreon and I'm happy to give you some advice, tips, whatever it is, if I can help. You know, you can send me topic suggestions on Patreon. If I feel like I'm qualified to talk about the topic, I can make an exclusive video for you guys as well. So, you know, if you wanna help us in creating more and more videos, consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash truefury. And if you want to work with me, I'm doing actually mentoring and coaching online. So go to truefury.com forward slash coaching, have a look what's going on there. And uh, initial consultations free of charge. There are a couple of different areas there. So check out what's going on, nothing to lose. And now let's get into the topic. So why most people can't wake up from the matrix. So I think most people who are interested in, you know, spiritual kind of subjects or went through some kind of awakening process, how reality works, how government works, you know, corporations, how the system operates. I think all of us would like to see the world where more and more people are awake, where more and more people are conscious. And obviously there are different levels of awakening. So, you know, some people are just at the level maybe of a government corruption or like 9-11, these kind of things. Some people are on completely different level. You know, they understand that all reality is just one mind, one consciousness, that this planet is manipulated by entities that are not even from here. Some very deep levels how deep the rabbit hole goes so there are different layers different levels and people basically have different levels of awakening but i think most of us can agree that we want to see a better world where more and more people are conscious on different levels however you know there are reasons why still a lot of people are completely unaware of the deeper truths how things work and they are just supporting feeding the matrix you know being good consumers running chasing their dollars wherever it is you know doing everything that they are programmed to do they are programmed because the system is designed to keep people in ignorance you know it's a very sophisticated system so today i will kind of give you a couple of examples of how this system works and why so many people still have a major trouble to wake up you know and why it's going to be very difficult for them to wake up so as i said you know everything here is manipulated to keep people in ignorance from 
fake stream media that is just brainwashing people, keeping them in fear, you know, constantly be, be scared, having biased perception to promote certain views and hide other agendas, things like that. This is one of the basic, you know, most known areas. Two, censorship online, always, you know, hiding other perspectives, you know, under misinformation uh, label and all these kind of things. Two, false science, using science to, you know, program people by selectively promoting some views and hiding others, censoring different researchers or calling them pseudoscientists, things like that. And also perception. For example, anything considered paranormal, mystical, spiritual, any of these kind of things, conspiracy or whatever, this is considered like some mumbo jumbo flutter kind of bs if you are into it then you are like silly person blah 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 this is also a programming to make people not look into these things because uh this is actually a very clever technique think about it. let's say let's take this example of 9 11. i'm sure many of you understand what's happened there really but i i don't want to even get into it here but if you want to understand the deeper stuff about the 9-11 attacks in current world where most of the documentaries exposing things happening there were censored are hidden so how can an average person understand anything like that if if they're gonna do some research all they're gonna get is like some bbc articles you know saying everything it was true, blah, 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 crazy conspiracy theorists and all this kind of stuff. You know, if you go on YouTube, same thing. So for a person, average person, to understand topic like that, first of all, you need to spend weeks to really understand it. You know, there's a lot of information there. It's not simple to understand what's going on, right? So that's one thing. First thing, you need to spend time on it. Second thing, you need to find the right information. And it's very difficult because they make it hard for you to do it, right? Third thing is you're constantly being programmed that, you know, if you don't believe in the official story, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist, right? So every, most people are like, yeah, I won't be looking into that because I don't want to be considered a crazy conspiracy theorist. I don't want others to look at me as like some guy who believes in some crazy stuff, right? So this is another technique to keep an average person completely unaware right so this is what has been done on purpose to hide information you know and people kind of police themselves because i don't want to be looked at as crazy by my friends or other people so and this is obviously t the controlling force is tapping into ego right because you want to be perceived as someone who is likable who is nice you know who is considered you know intelligent blah 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 so most people don't bother to look into anything because they don't want to be labeled as crazy, right? This is a silly stuff. Come on, you're a serious guy, right? <laughs> so, you know, this is, this is a simple another technique where people police themselves. And you don't have to do a lot <laughs> to control people in this way. All you have to do is create this perception so they believe that this is a silly stuff and if I'm looking at it, then I'm like a silly person, right? And then people keep policing themselves. Simple stuff, easy way to, to control public perception, right? However, there is another very important thing. So everything is based on attraction. Your perception, your intentions matter. The reality you are experiencing is linked to what you wanna see, how you behave, what intentions you put in, all these kind of stuff, right? So if you are a skeptic who has completely skeptical approach, let's say, whatever, let's say astrology, you think this is just BS, right? And um, this is the kind of mental attitude you have, but let's say you're gonna think, oh, I wanna kind of give it a little bit of try, like a few days, I'm gonna just read some stuff and see maybe there is some something that makes sense. Because of your approach, because of your fixed belief, you start attracting things that resonate with what you wanna see. 
That's one thing, right? Let me give you examples of that. So for example, I have a good friend who is a scientist and um, so he has his kind of little bit skeptical perspective on anything paranormal, let's say. Kind of looking at everything from a mainstream science perspective. And I obviously have my perspectives. And, um, but we are friends, you know, we kind of bounce ideas from each other, get some perspectives from different viewpoints on the same topics. So it's kind of a healthy relationship, right? He's not like, oh, this is just BS always, la 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 la, and you know, I'm not looking into it. He's not like that. It's kind of like, you know, takes into consideration, who knows, maybe it's possible. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know everything, right? So we always kind of would take each other to events that we like. So he would take me to some physics conference and I would take him to an alternative conference, for example, right? And we would kind of learn, right, together. So for example, one time I had some tickets to this big event, it's called Conference for Consciousness and Human Evolution in London. And basically I wanted him to come. And it was like a couple of days of workshops and lectures and a lot of alternative guys like Greg Braden or uh, someone like Joe Dispenza, people like that. And it was a whole weekend event. And somehow he only had time to come for like literally one hour or two hours, something like that. You know, I was hoping he gonna come and stay with me whole weekend, but um, he just got busy last moment, blah, 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 and ended up just coming for like one lecture, not even a whole lecture or something like that, out of many. And what happened? He came to this conference, where obviously he's a guy, interested dif in different stuff so people this is a different type of event completely different perspective and the talk he got into out of like i don't know how many 10 talks or throughout the weekend whatever was actually the most crazy sounding mumbo jumbo talk out of the whole event it was uh i think I don't know, JJ Hurtak? Yeah, I think it was JJ Hurtak. Obviously, you know, I respect him and his wife, of course, but for someone like my friend, who is a complete skeptic, their talk really looked kind of weird. They were praying, you know, doing some show, things like that. So, you know, he was like, oh my God, what is that? And then he said, enjoy the show, <laughs> you know, and left. So funny, you see what I'm talking about here? Someone like him with his perspective and his worldview starts attracting things that fit into his bubble and do not attract the right stuff, right? So this is one example. Out of all these different talks where there were a lot of talks that would resonate with him, he attracted the one that seems most kind of like far out, let's say. And let me give you another example of that. So Daniel Pinchbeck, He's an author, I interviewed him for my podcast. He was saying something like that. He basically was exploring crop circles in England for whatever period of time. And sometimes some friends would come from the US, etc. And he would kind of want to show them some cool crop circles. So he said, when there was a person who was like open to these things, they would find like really incredible crop circles that looked like completely out of this world. And when some other friends came who were like total skeptics, on that day, they would find crop circles that look so embarrassing they look definitely like fake ones and basically uh, he felt embarrassed in front of them, right? So this is what I'm talking about. Your attitude, your approach, reality is created by consciousness. <laughs> whatever you want to see, whatever your attitude is, the more of that you attract, all right? That's why a lot of these skeptical scientists, they cannot ever get beyond that line because their attitude and the way they try to understand things is not sufficient to get there. They typically don't put a lot of effort into it, that's one thing. <laughs> and the second thing is just their attitude is reaffirming what they already believe in. So another example of that is a guy called Phil Borges. He basically spent like 20 years or something exploring native cultures, you know, and living with them, etc. And he said initially he felt like all their beliefs in like changing the weather or spirit world wherever they were all kind of primitive people you know not understanding much no technology la 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 like that's what he thought like everyone else right in the beginning i sort of looked at this as superstition uneducated naive thinking 
And over the last 30 years, I've slowly changed. And I want to talk to you a little bit about... However, once he spent enough time with them, he started seeing that they often actually are right about things. They said something, predicted something, happened, things like that. So this is another example of that, that you really need to put effort into things to understand them. If you are someone who's just gonna spend five minutes on trying to understand the topic and get fake mainstream information, then you won't get anywhere like that. And obviously, you know, the controlling system that is designed to keep people in ignorance works on so many other levels. So for example, if people are constantly programmed to just be distracted, you know, with some entertainment, Will Smith slapped, oh my God, let's talk about it for another freaking two weeks. Another thing, we just moved into Johnny Depp, you know, another thing to keep you distracted and interested in things that don't matter at all. <laughs> and this is obviously, you know, keeping people in ignorance mode is a common technique bread and circuses right another is obviously divide and conquer to get them to constantly live in fear argue highlighting some controversial things so they can argue and stay in that lower vibration you know media is obviously all fear mongering all the time so if you are busy with working your ass off consume all the time and you don't really have time for anything else the only thing you have time is like a little bit of entertainment and i don't know get wasted because you're so exhausted and so tired and you want to have a little bit of time on like pleasure let's say and you don't have time for other things right you don't have time to grow spiritually you don't have time to understand a deeper fields and there are lots of other techniques water fluoridation it's another one. Your pineal gland, your third eye, shutting down your third eye. It's a very clever technique because once it's open, you start communicating with different worlds, you know, entities, things like that. You start getting guidance. And that's obviously, no one is interested in you waking up. They want you to be this nice little slave that just runs and chases dollars and all these kind of things and creates a lot of negative emotions in the process, right? So that's another technique. But ultimately, everything always comes down to people. You know, you are the one running your life. You can make choices. There are all these forces that try to keep you ignorant, etc. However, you can make different decisions, you know? You can become more educated. You can start understanding how things work. And remember that reality reflects our behavior everything is fractal so if people have masks like like we have ego you know i want more and more stuff i'm gonna pretend to be something to get more for myself this behavior is now reflected in these different layers we talked about because everything is fractal so you have a mask to get more media does exactly the same thing towards you Corporations do exactly the same things towards you. You know, media are gonna manipulate information to keep you the way they want or hide something, etc. promote something else for their own benefits. That's what people also do to get their benefits. This is just fractal reflection, the mirror that we create in society. Corporations do the same thing. Think about food. Food looks nice, has cool logos, tastes great, but it's unhealthy, it can last three months, and it's just destroying your health. So these kind of patterns are reflected in every single thing. So basically, it's all up to us. Once we start changing the reality, the fractal aspects start changing as well. Anyway, that's it for today. There are more and more and more techniques, but we're gonna do more videos on that. So hope you are enjoying this episode have a look at patreon.com forward slash true theory if you want to support this project and if you want to work with me on one-to-one -one basis i'm doing coaching and mentoring go to truththeory.com forward slash coaching have a look and let us know what you think about all this in the comments below and thank you for watching this episode of true spirituality till next time